Mosaic House presents Frequently Asked Questions About the Second Commandment. What about the comma? Judaism viewpoint. Answers from the Jewish mitzvot. The Image of the Beast versus the Image of God by Mimi Emanuel, student of the Holy Bible, researcher of the Second Commandment since 2006, frequently asked questions about the Second Commandment. Question 2. What about the comma? Some people say that because Hebrew has no punctuation, like ancient Greek does not either, therefore the two sentences are counted as just one command, not as two as appears in English Bibles. In which case, if this were true, the argument is that you could possibly read the second commandment as statues and images of any living creature do not make to worship them. Is it true though that this is how the second commandment should be read? Judaism viewpoint. What do the Jewish people say about the comma argument? Jewish Mitzvot 613 Commandments contradicts this when it states not to worship idols in the manner that they are worshipped, not to bow down to idols, not to make an idol for yourself, not to make an idol for others, not to make human forms even for decorative purposes. The above does not look like one command to me. There are five distinctly different commands that we're supposed to adhere to. From these five separate commandments, it becomes clear that we are not to worship idols, not to bow down to idols, not to make an idol for ourselves, not to make an idol for others, not to make human forms even for decorative purposes. There are another 15 commandments on idols in the mitzvot. You can find a copy at chabad.org but the above five are the most relevant for our discussion. Most of us agree that it is a good idea to follow God's other nine commandments literally, such as honouring God only, not discrediting his name, having a day of rest, honouring our parents, not killing, not committing adultery, not stealing, not lying, nor coveting. What is it with the second commandment that we think needs interpretation? Does it really? Or are we supposed to follow and obey literally, just as with the other nine? Let's have a look at some of the arguments for and against so that you can make up your own mind. Can we make idols so long as we don't worship them? The mitzvah tells us, don't worship idols, images. Don't bow down to idols, images. Don't make an idol, image, yourself. Don't make an idol, image, for others. Don't make human forms, even for decorative purposes. Judaism viewpoint. It is fair to say that the Jewish people don't agree that the second commandment can be read as one commandment. Question 3. Isn't creating images fine and only the worship wrong? 